Water Bay, a little story, it's Saturday story time. So now um, I'm not traveling anymore. So I've been traveling now for like two decades now, since I was 18 years old, traveling uh, for music. A lot of times I just like to you know check out new places and check out new cities, check out new restaurants, check out new venues, check out concerts. I don't do that anymore. So the, th the reason I was doing it is because I never got to travel when I was younger. I mean, I got to go to like Florida and come back to North Carolina, and, you know, I got a few other places, but I never got to like pick my destination of travel. So now that you know, I've pretty much seen the whole world and the United States, it's not all the same. The, the 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 infrastructure is very similar where they have you know like restaurants and entertainment but a lot of the places that don't have art and culture and you know like kind of where i'm at right now they don't really have art art and culture they have it down in a specific area and then another specific area but it's taken a long time for them to have art and um you know, culture so now that there's all in culture, there's a lot of young people that <laughs> came into the mix. So you know, this is just a rant about art and culture that you need art, art and culture and interesting things going on. If you just have like regular bars that are sitting there and, you know, just regular restaurants and stuff, nobody's going to come to them. So you have to have it be you know, a little more creative and eccentric. And I never realized this because when every place that I would go would be awesome. I would choose like awesome places that I would say. So like I'd have to drive a long ways. Like here's one uh, when I went to freaking Portland, that place was pretty sweet. But to live there and everything, yeah, yeah, but it's sweet. One day you want to live there forever. So that's uh, how I traveled.